Hi everyone. Today we are talking something about huge in the world of quantum computing. Google's latest leap with their new chip called Velo. Why is this special? What makes it a giant leap in the world of technology today? Let's look into this. Here is a quick breakdown of what I will cover today as part of this video. I will introduce you about this chip and its significance. We'll also cover the basics of quantum computing, covering the very concept, the qubits, difference between the traditional and quantum computing, challenges being faced in this field of technology. Then I will talk about how Google's Velo chip addresses these challenges. And finally, I will wrap up with the real world impact. If you don't want to cover the basics, feel free to jump to third and fourth section where I will talk about the Velo chip. This latest quantum chip solves one of quantum computing's biggest challenges, scaling up while minimizing errors. Also, it has the capability to solve some problems in few minutes that would take a supercomputer longer than 10 to the power 25 years, way beyond anything we have seen before. Now, to grasp these pointers, let's kick things off by going into the basics. Quantum computing, what exactly is it? Basically, it is an advanced type of computing that leverages the principle of quantum mechanics, a fundamental theory in the world of physics that describes the nature of particles at the smallest scales, like atoms, subatomic particles. To understand quantum computing, let's first recall about classical traditional computing. So traditional computers like your phone or laptop use bits, which is the smallest unit of information. This is either zero or one. So with this, they perform operations one at a time. While quantum computers use the concept of quantum bits or qubits that can be either zero or one or both zero and one simultaneously using phenomenon called the superposition. And because of this superposition property, instead of solving problems one step at a time like traditional computers, they can perform many calculations simultaneously. For example, imagine trying to solve a maze. A regular computer would try one path at a time, testing if it works and then trying the next one. But a quantum computer can try all the parts at the same time. That's because of their technical strength called superposition. But here is the catch. Qubits are super fragile. They can be easily disrupted by things like heat, noise, or even cosmic rays flying through the space. This sensitivity introduces error in quantum calculations. And that has been one of the biggest challenges in quantum computing. Now, this is where Willow comes in by having a better qubit control and error correction and improving the quantum coherence time willow has took a giant leap in the world of quantum computing let me explain willow's innovation is that it groups qubits together to form what is called a logical qubit and with additional calibration checks the system is allowed to perform consistency checks and correct errors as they happen this innovation also has led to increase the quantum coherence time. That is how long the system is able to maintain its one quantum state. And Willow has cracked it by getting it improved five times than that of its previous benchmark. That is with Sycamore launched in 2019. This means qubits here stay stable longer, which means fewer errors and more reliable quantum operations. So with all this, Willow is pushing us closer to the day when quantum computers will revolutionize industries and change the way we solve problems. So whether it's innovating molecular simulations or solving toughest encryptions or developing energy alternatives or even developing life-saving drugs, quantum computing is the future to solve some of the complex problems and Willow is definitely leading the charge. Hope you liked this video and learned something new. For more such videos, subscribe
subscribe to my channel and do not forget to press the bell icon to stay notified thank you